Most enjoyable about coaching online I've found is um, how connected we've been able to remain with our community. Um, also the positive and adaptable nature of our community. It's something that's really struck me as impressive. I know during periods of uncertainty people um, find that difficult. Um, and also amazing sunrises, like I've been fortunate enough to be coaching in the mornings and when I see some of our members training in their garages or out in you know, open areas, the sunrises that um, you know, we wouldn't normally share in a gym setting is something I think is pretty special. So it's that really um, special moment that we get to share with our, with our community that I've found really enjoyable. Um, I've learnt about myself when I've been running in coaching sessions is um, how many times I use the same word. It's like a little bingo session a lot of the time. So um, verbal communication is key. We've lost a lot of that um, ability to demonstrate um, on the fly or correct on the fly. So when you're speaking, it needs to be clear, concise, but it also needs to make sense. So sometimes it's about using the surroundings that um, one of our members are working in or um, you know, using different cues that are going to verbally be able to deliver the message that we're trying to convey. It's also important to be clear, they can't be long drawn out sentences. Um, get creative with feedback, again going back to the using the same words over and over again. I know um, being on the other end of the Zoom sessions too, it's really nice to hear your name and just a little bit of positive feedback, um, even if it's just encouragement, doesn't always have to remain on that queuing side of things. Um, and how hopeless I am that left is right and right is left. So that mirror imaging is just really, really challenging for me sometimes. So if you ever see me ducking and weaving on a screen, it's actually so I can work out what part of the screen I need to have my big head in. I have three recommendations to share. Um, a movie that I saw recently is um, the recent partnership between Disney and Pixar, and it's a movie called Onward, um, a really good family feel-good movie about um, two boys that have lost their father and their mother is raising them, but also in a really nice animated um, story um, set in medieval times, so we really enjoyed that as a family. Um, a documentary that I saw um, some time ago is called Free Solo, um, and it's a story about Alex, and I probably am not pronouncing his surname correctly, but it's Honold, um, and he was one of the few that were successful in free climbing um, El Capitan, which is a massive um, rock face in Yosemite. Um, and just the journey that he goes on and the discipline and the amount of um, commitment and energy that it takes for somebody to climb that height um, is, is pretty incredible. Um, and a book, it's an audio book, but there's also a written version, which is um, Can't Hurt Me, written by David Goggins. Um, and it's a story about a guy that, as he describes it, drags his life out of the sewers um, and then develops a real um, ability to, to return back life that he feels like he had lost previously. So callousing his mind is one of the things that he talked about. Um, pretty incredible guy and I would highly recommend if you have time just to either audio or sit down and read that one. Um, the first thing I'd love to do is visit my sister. Um, I have only one sister and um, we're very close and the distance, she's only in Sydney but we do speak very regularly, almost daily in some cases, um, and then we try to visit each other often. She's recently been through some exciting changes in her life. She's had a, a promotion with her job and just not being able to be there with her has been quite difficult. Um, I have my parents living here in Canberra with me, so we are fairly close in terms of distance, but having her not here has been a bit difficult, so I'd love to be able to see her. Um, and then secondly, I feel like the COVID-19 has been quite a devastation to the community, but if you could take a positive um, from something that is pretty tough on a lot of people, it's continuing with the mindset that we can do so much with so little. Um, I'd like to think that that's something I've learnt. I felt before COVID-19 perhaps I needed more than I actually did need, and I think this has taught us that what we do have is sometimes the simple things in life are the best, so I think that would be a a definite thing that I'd like to carry through from here.